All right, Maria, thank you. Our top story, several young people overdosed in Hollywood last night. One girl tragically mm. lost her life. Gigi Gracia joins us live from Bernstein High School now with more on what we know, but how awful. <laughs> Gigi, good morning. Tony, this is a tragic story, but it is also a cautionary tale. Joining me now live, Lieutenant John Radke with LAPD's West Homicide. The lieutenant and his team been working all night on this story. The story starts with two young students here, teenage girls, at Bernstein High. They don't come home. Their parents report them missing. And I understand the stepdad of one of the girls goes out and searches for himself, and he keeps coming back to the high school, and unfortunately, he finds her around 8 o'clock. That's right. He came here. He found her at 8 o'clock. She was very ill. She, was, she had been a victim of an overdose. She was able to communicate with him and let him know that her friend was in the women's restroom. He uh, grabbed a school employee. They went into the restroom, and they found this other victim who was unresponsive. Um, they called 911. Uh, they did their best to render aid, but unfortunately, she did not respond, and she was uh, determined dead here by the Los Angeles Fire Department. And both girls only 15 years old, and this girl manages to tell her stepdad or police or paramedics that she had been with her friend at the park and that they had bought drugs. Yes, that's right. They, uh, they went to buy a Percocet, which is a, a, a narcotic for pain. Um, they uh, both ingested a pill and started feeling ill almost immediately. Um, it's very common for drug dealers to put fentanyl in almost all pills and many other drugs. Fentanyl is a poison and it's very dangerous to everyone. And these two girls, one is dead, one is in the hospital right now. This is sort of the tip of the iceberg because your detectives later find out there are at least two other victims of drug overdoses that may also be connected to this drug dealer at Lexington Park here in Hollywood. Yes, that's right. Um, so we need to do everything we can to get the word out to everyone. Don't take drugs from anyone. Don't take even an aspirin. Um, you don't know what's in it. Uh, fentanyl is, um, is, is highly, highly poisonous. It's a very, a very strong drug. Um, this, uh, this, this, uh, often what happens is they'll mistakenly make a hot batch. So anything from this batch could be especially dangerous to all. What is your message to parents? Because high school students, they're probably asleep right now. What do you want parents to hear and what do you want parents to do, most importantly? They need to sit down and talk with their children. And they need to talk about the real consequences of taking some, anything from someone that they do not know. Uh, it puts their life in jeopardy. You're hoping the parents will talk to their kids and warn them. Yes, absolutely. All right. Increased patrols at Lexington Park. I understand you're going to be asking Hollywood Division for that? Yes. Um, obviously, this is a priority to the LAPD. We'll have extra officers in the area, and we're going to do everything we can to find this drug dealer. Anybody in the community that knows who this person is, please call the LAPD West Barrow Homicide. You believe this dealer is preying on kids after school? It, it does appear so. Lieutenant John Radke, thank you very much. Very long night for LAPD West Homicide Detectives. Again, a 15-year-old girl, a student here at Bernstein High School, is dead. Her friend is in the hospital. A third victim, also a teenager, a boy, is in the hospital. He goes to another school. And there is a fourth victim that police are trying to find and interview. They know that that person is out there, all apparently linked to this same park and those same drugs, possibly laced with fentanyl. We'll send it back to you.